Have you had enough of ripping your drive straight down the middle of the fairway, 50 yards short, and then you duff it short the green, or you thin it over the back? Well, in today's video, we're gonna show you how to play the 50-yard pitch shot. Yes, welcome to me and my golf. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to improve your game and continue to beat your friends, make sure you hit that subscribe. And if you really think this is gonna help you from 50 yards, make sure you hit that like. Okay, everybody, welcome to our brand new show, Special Skills, where we take the average golfer through certain shots to help them on the golf course. And we've got Reese here, me and my golf member, to take him through one of the hardest shots in golf, the 50-yard pitch shot. We know you struggle with this one as well, and we're gonna take Reese through it and show you what to do. Yeah, absolutely. So let's just go through some of the core things that we really wanna see when we're playing this shot. So there's three things that I really wanna get you to understand that are really gonna help you when it comes to this shot. And then we're gonna to go to Reese and see if he's doing any of these and if he's struggling with any of these. So the first one is that whenever we see a good pitching action, we often find that the arms and the body, they're kind of almost linked. So from this linkage here, you can see there'll be a turn back, there'll be a turn through. And there's not a lot of excessive moving parts. We're not trying to create speed and distance like in the full shot. We're trying to control the distance and that's why it's good to get these arms close to the body and get the body turning back and through. The next thing which is actually is really important is where the club travels throughout the golf swing. So ideally we want the club to be on a good plane on the way back and on the way through. What we don't want to see is the club leaving the plane too high or too much underneath. That can cause you problems. And then the next one is really about what this does, about what the head does. So if we see a head, and this is very common by the way, and you, you may well be doing this if you're duffing your wedges. If we see a head in the downswing move back, almost like you're trying to scoop it up into the air, that will often cause you to hit the ground before the golf ball and that can be a problem. So tell you what, Reese, let's get you in here. Let's just get you to play a couple of yep. shots and we'll see if you're ticking any of those boxes we just spoke about. Okay. Just just interested as well to get your thoughts before we go into it. What do you see in Reese's swing <laughs> that you think is missing or that he's doing that could be improved? Let us know in the comments down below. You can yeah, see this left. is one of the early shots that you had that we videoed before. It's just going straight left. Yep, straight left. And you hit a lot of shots from that left hand side of the green. Yep. So effectively, if I can just borrow my club again, Andy, you can just come around here actually. Yep. Just have a quick look at this. So basically what's happening is even though you're aiming good to the target, the club goes inside. Yep. The club from there goes almost into out a lot. So it's like playing a draw. Yep. But the thing is when you've got a wedge like this, it's really hard to draw and hook a wedge. It'll just pull left straight yep. away. So you're basically hitting this hook wedge when you're playing these 50 yarders. Yeah. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to, what would it be like now if we got the club a little bit more feeling as though it was working like that? Okay. That makes sense? Yeah, makes sense. Let's have a go with that first of all. Okay. And the good thing with this is if we get this right, it could influence the other thing that I want to work at. Okay. So your normal move will be this. Yeah. I want to feel now. Well, I actually want you to feel this. Feel that, but yeah. But you're not. We're, in reality, we just want it to be on plane, yeah? Okay. And we'll see how you go. Have some practice swings first. Yeah. He doesn't like practice swings, does he, Andy? <laughs> We've seen that from the driver video last week. Yeah. All right, have a few <laughs> practice swings. And again. Yeah. I'm going to stand here. Okay, and again. And you, can, and you can go through now. Go through all the way through. Beautiful. And again. If I just stand here now, it's hard to swing it yeah. under the plane. So you just got to find someone when you go to the driving range next to the golf course to stand by the side of you. <laughs> Stop you swinging underneath the plane. That was better, Nearer. yeah. Okay. So we can now see, we know that the club was going well underneath before. Look at that yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, much now that, better. You probably felt like you are hitting Andy. Yeah. <laughs> on the backswing there. And that's the same thing. Whenever you're doing a change, you need to exaggerate it. And then the reality is that you're actually beautifully on plane there. But what would be maybe one of the reasons why it came up short? Uh, probably just acceleration, speed. Speed, and how, how do you think, and this is a great question, I want you to think about this yourselves watching this now. How do you generate the speed and distance in your wedge shots? How should you do it? Uh, length of swing. Good man, good yeah. man. I, I wasn't sure you were going to go to that. No, yeah, I, yeah. I think he figured that out. It's because he's watched complete wedge play on the <laughs> yeah. other side. I think we triggered something there because yeah, I think yeah. he was going to go on the acceleration. The cogs, the cogs were working. There we go. Yeah. I think the acceleration isn't really mm. how we want to get uh, generate the distance control. Yeah. Let's let the length of the backswing do it. So the backswing okay. could have been a little bit longer. That was all made right. on that one. Okay. So when you swing through now, yes, of course, we want the club on this plane here. But as you swing through now, 
It's a shame you haven't got a cap on. Yeah. But what I'd like, I haven't got a cap on. <laughs> so maybe we'll get Andy to demo in a minute. We've got a head though. We've so got, okay. we got a head, we've got a head. <laughs> so what I want you to do is to actually feel as though your eyes follow, follow and move toward the target when you play the shot. Okay. So yours, I mean, you, I wouldn't say you keep your head down, but your head obviously wants to go back like this. Yeah, yeah. So if we can get your hand, your eyes and head, so do that for me, to move that way. Yeah. It's hopefully by moving your head forwards when you're hitting the shots, and the reality is it'll probably stay in the same place. <laughs> it'll make it a lot easier for you to strike the ground a little bit later. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, makes sense. So having some practice swings, doing okay. that same feeling. So also here, what Pierce is using, he's using the app to draw the tools on and the lines. Um, it's a great way of just understanding what you're doing just by analysing a few things. We're doing this on our brand new app. Make sure you check it out in the description. It just helps you understand what's going on, really. Did you feel anything? A little bit. Clipped your ear a little, little bit. bit yeah. little bit. That's, that's loads better. Very that's loads better. better. Contact, yeah. Loads better. Loads better. Yeah, that sounded better. Yeah, much better contact on that one. Yeah, yeah, really good. Really good. Yeah, very good. Beautiful strike. So there's one more thing though, and it and this is really important for you watching this as well. When we're playing these shots here, they're not about power mm -hmm. and speed and generating that tension so much. It's all about finesse yep. and it's about softness. And definitely when you were holding the club, <laughs> it was it was hard for me to move the club. Yeah. Um, but also when you were playing the shots as well, it kind of looks like it's quite stiff, if that makes sense. Yep. I'd like to introduce a little bit of softness and feel into the shots. Okay. So maybe gripping it a little bit looser, yep. maybe feeling as though it's a little bit longer on the way back, you're not quite hitting it so hard. Somebody come in and give him a massage. Just <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> getting there, that's <laughs> getting there. Well, if yeah. you wanted to touch him all day. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's a, that, that would be great if we could do that. So let's okay. have some practice swings, just having a feel for that, shall we? Okay. And I, th I think for you guys watching this as well, this is one of the reasons that most golfers struggle with this shot because now we're tapping into this finesse. You know, Reese mentioned that this is a finesse shot. Uh, what we tend to do is we want to hit it and when you've got 50 yards really it's it's more like a a long chip which is smoother softer that's going to enable us to tap into the distance control rather than 80 to 100 yards where it's speed and this is a it's such a different mindset to be able to switch from power to finesse which is exactly what we're really tapping into now good i'm just going to come in and just do one thing when, when he swings through just swing through and hold it yeah it there. Just relax these. Oh, there you go. Just oh, relax. Yeah. So relax. Breathe out. There oh, you go. <laughs> a smile on his face as well. Just, just yeah. There you go. So notice yeah. how that, how different that is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. Now, the, there's no tension now. That softness is just so important. Yeah. Can you see how before you were like, yeah, yeah. tensed. Yeah. yeah you yeah. were doing a tricep <laughs> extension on those yeah, last yeah, couple. Yeah. Definitely. Three main things so far. Get the club on plane. Still got to do some work on that. Head position. Not falling back a lot better. Now it's about introducing some softness, some finesse. Relax. Finesse. Finesse. <laughs> finesse and feel. Finesse. Never heard that word before. Uh, called him Kyle they earlier. Called him Kyle earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like softer through there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Sorry, we are with you still. Yeah. No, 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 it's, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not with you. <laughs> But you, you, I think you'll... Oh, there you go. I feel how different that is, even yeah, on the much, through swing. Much better. Like, He's even breathing now when he's playing I was going to say, as well. <laughs> that's, it's funny you say that. Like, I wouldn't even notice then, when I'm in that position, I didn't even realise I was holding my breath. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, as yeah. soon as I said soft, you went... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? We're talking... How many times have we mentioned the word, <laughs> the word finial? <laughs> the word feel? Yeah. And that's what this shot is all about. We've yeah. got to feel the yardage, feel how hard it is. You know, you've got to feel the club moving through the ground as yeah. well to understand that resistance that it gives you. So there's, yeah. there's so many things that we want to tap into. So let's have a go at good playing, good head yeah. and finesse. Yeah, very good. Again, it was a good strike. That was just a little bit under, and it's only just short there, but. Yeah. And the next thing really, look, Reese, you. Reese is a member of meandmygolf.com. The next thing you should do, Reese, is go through complete wedge play. You've done the other plans. Yep. Complete wedge play is going to expand on the rest of this for you, really. So I think that's a great plan for you to go through. And you can go through the same, guys. Make sure you check it out, meandmygolf.com, or download the app. You can start it for absolutely free. Check it out, and we'll see you soon.